All right, welcome back to Jim's Guitar Garage. Check out this next video as we continue on with this Spalted Maple Les Paul that we're building. All right, check out the video. Hope you enjoy it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and please leave a comment below. All right, welcome back to Jim's Guitar Garage. In this installment, we're gonna be working on the neck. As you can see, I'm gonna hold it up here. This neck has been all sanded down, so the only thing left is now our grain filler that's inside. Mm -hmm. is the same thing we did before we've got this here I'll show you the lid let me pop the lid off real quick we talked about this in our previous video where we did the body this is the Minwax pre-stained wood conditioner so once again hopefully you can focus on that so you put this on you wait about anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes let it soak in and what it does is it's supposed to make the color more even it's more for um you know woods that aren't even you know with a nice even grain like this so this this one is probably not as necessary but we used it on the body so we're going to use it on this so isaac is here tonight so go ahead say hi isaac hello maybe they might want to see your face i don't know so we're going to take this go ahead and dip it in there and then sorry spread it around just put just a little bit in yeah that should be good and then just Spread it on lightly. So you Okay, so we'll wait a few minutes, we'll come back, and then we're going to put the stain on. Okay, so we let the stain soak in for about 5 to 10 minutes. Um, it says, uh, once again on the package, you can let it soak in for up to 50 minutes. So Isaac's going to go ahead, wipe it off. Okay, so we just wiped off the Minwax pre-stain, so now we're gonna start applying the stain. So I just got the little pad, so you wanna mix your stain in a figure eight. Go ahead, let's um, get some stain on that. tape that I'm using is the, is the um, scotch blue and it has the edge lock so what it does is it has like a tighter a little bit um, tighter and stronger um, seal right along the edge okay so go ahead and dip that So it's going to be this nice brown color. Once again, let me shut this light off. See if you guys can see it a little better. So it's going to be that nice kind of reddish brown color. You can see right there where, the, where our um, scarf joint is. But it's going to be a nice, nice reddish mahogany okay. color. Welcome back. Well, there's our timer. Our timer is going off. So we let this thing soak in for about five minutes. Um, we're going to wipe off the excess now. Let me shut this timer off. Okay, so go ahead, Isaac. So Isaac's going to wipe the um, all the excess off. And then uh, there shouldn't be too much. We, we went pretty liberal with it, but let me get that side. And then uh, we're going to let this dry. We want to stain this to be consistent with this body. So let me just try and get this in here, Isaac. 
So that looks pretty close already. We might put another really light coat on, but we want it to match almost exactly or as exactly as we can. So I think we'll probably put one more light coat on tomorrow just to be safe. And then we'll start finishing this. So once this dries and we finish the second coat, we will um, be back with you to uh, put the first coat of finish on and see what this thing looks like. Try that again. Thank you once again for watching. Appreciate it. Um, this is Isaac and Jim out for Jim's Guitar Garage. Aloha.